welcome back to another video. Um, ironically, these are, I've called this series the uh, Summer Season 24, but as you can probably tell, it's actually just started raining on me, which isn't ideal motorbike weather, nor is it summer weather. Um, I'm with my mate Mark, he's got a BMW E30 and it is absolutely immaculate, it's so nice. Sick car. Uh, I'm going to go to a little spot where I took some shots of his car the other day the end of my local uh, Asda, it's right on the harbour there, it's a nice little spot where I'm going to get some hopefully cinematic shots, oh no, this rain isn't ideal, however the water droplets will probably look quite nice on the paintwork, it's the only way I'm trying to justify it to be honest with you because otherwise I wouldn't be out in this crap, I'm hoping it passes because this is shit, come on, saying that it's got a bit lighter again and I see clear skies which is always a good sign so on last week's video well saying that I say last week I don't know when I'm going to post this um, obviously it was the first time I showed this beauty on the channel properly I did a little YouTube shorts the other day but I'm not really counting as a proper video but me and Louie went for a little spin up to the Minac and that evening it was really really sunny um, so if you haven't seen that video, uh, make sure to have a look at it. I'll put a link at the top of this uh, video so you can see that now. Um, but soon enough, when it gets a bit sunnier again, well, which will hopefully be this weekend to be honest with you, uh, me and the boys, I've just gone the wrong way. Gone the wrong way! Idiot, too busy talking. Me and the boys will um, get some footage together, hopefully all, all five, six of us. I think one day if I go down there and get some shots as well, but it's a dead end. Saying that, dead end for a car and dead end for a bike are two very different things. I need to go down there, but he cannot get down there, obviously. There she is. I went the wrong way like a twat. We'll have to go round. Hey? They're not working. <laughs> Mark, I'm going to go down that way and I'll try and film you coming through, all right? With my phone gimbal thing. So if you go the long way, I'll see you down there. What do I need? So I've got this little bad boy. Good little bit of kit this. It's only a two-way axis gimbal, but it does get some relatively good smooth shots to be honest with you. Oh, I thought I could hear him. Maybe not. Oh, missed call from Ewan. Shout out to Ewan. I will call you back, mate, but if you see this video, you'll know why I'm not answering yet. Got to get this so it balances in the clips first, roughly. Screw it, I'll do the cheat way. Sort of hold it upright, hold the power button, and then let go of it. Cool. So. Moves that way and that way basically, but obviously not forward and back. Um, change the mode so it's got a pan follow. So as I twist my wrist, it, the motor smoothly turns it as well. Obviously I can turn it to uh, portrait as well. Right, I just found out my SD card was filled up, so I've had to delete a load of shit. <coughs> you all right? Nice one. You're gonna cry about it, are you? Sorry, why'd you do that? Is it fun? Would you recommend it and would you do it again? 
No, right. Ooh, look at that. Right, uh, the annoying thing is, I like using cinematic mode because it blurs the back, but I often film in 60 frames because then I slow it down for a smoother shot, but you can't film in 60 frames on cinematic mode. I suppose that's because of the blur and it would look crap if you slew it, slew? slowed it down. Uh, not portrait, what am I doing? Video. Video, 60, 4K. Fucking hell. Um, Trust the process. The fuck, do you put your window down? Yeah, do I have to push up my hand or some shit? Is it that old? <laughs> huh? What's. Oh, mate, I've just been moving your mirror then. Sorry. Is that your mirror then, I'm assuming? Right, yeah, I've moved that. They probably do they work? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I know it's old. I'm not dissing it. I'm jealous of it. Don't like that. Right, skip this. Let's just go to the results. So, just filmed the uh, few clips on Mark's car on my bike. I've not used that gimbal in years. Um, have no idea how it's going to turn out because obviously I've not edited anything yet. I'm starving, so I'm going to get a bit of food. I think we're going Mackey's to be fair, nice and healthy. But um, yeah, car's mint. I love his car so much. Proper old school BMW. Let's go, boy. Proper old school. They got a uh, 2.5 litre. I think Mark just said they're 198 brake stock, but his is chipped, so I don't know. It's probably potentially pushing out an extra 20, but apparently it was an eBay special, so who knows? But it's definitely added more power from what he's told me. Sounds sick, but obviously you're not really going to hear a lot over this exhaust. So, next things for the bike that are vital, I need. I mentioned it in the last video before a bird was. It was actually a duck. I can confirm it was a duck that almost flew into my helmet. So yeah, right before a duck actually flew in front of me, I was saying about meeting a new front tire. Yes, boy! <laughs> um, right before... I keep getting distracted, man. So yeah, right before a duck flew in front of me, I was saying about needing new front tyres. I think I'm going to go for Bridgestone Battle Axe S23s. Everyone raves about the S22s, which have been around for a long time. But, um... S23s have been out for a little while as well and I have a feeling that's what I'm going to go for on the front I've got uh, Pirelli Rosso Corsas and on the back I've got a Michelin Pilot Sport 2CT um, but I am going to change the pair I think it's about 300 and I think Liam said 360 quid fitted and that's if I bring the, t uh, the wheels into him I mean they're pricey tyres but premium bike tyres are, any premium tyres are expensive. So that's the next thing to do for the bike. Um, then go away in August for two weeks. When I'm back I'm going to get the bike... Uh, when I'm back I'm going to get the bike booked in for a tune. Obviously get some videos on that if I can as well. But 
other than that, I'm still debating what I should do to it next. So if anyone in the comments down below has any suggestions, if you've got an S1K yourself, what have you actually done to it? Because other than the crash protection exhaust and screen and the tail tidy, that's that's all that this bike's got at the moment aftermarket wise. Tell you what, that car gets a lot of attention. Everyone turns their heads for it. You never see them though, that's the thing. Especially the more well-kept examples of E30s. You don't see many of them at all. Mark's had a full body kit on that as well. I couldn't tell you what it's called, I can't really remember. You can see the logo on the back of the bumper, but it's tiny. What is it, M? Is it M-Tech? What the fuck's it called? He's gonna watch us back and laugh that I've just said M-Tech because I have no idea what it's called. Um, oh, I was actually really close. This is an M Technic. You know what? That's not a bad guess at all. So it's got a full M Technic body kit, if I'm not mistaken. So it looks mint. And it sounds mega as well. So I'm going to get a bit of grub and then see you back on the road in a minute. That's sick. So it's what, 115 decibels on idle? Uh, still not idling great, but I need it tuned. Mental. It's loud, isn't it? Yeah. Well, where are you going? I'm going to go through hail and go via a shop. guys i did hope you enjoyed the cinematic clips of mark's car lovely example of an e30 that was all shot and edited on the iphone 15 pro um, didn't get around to filming anything else with the gopro that evening so if you did enjoy please give it a thumbs up make sure to check out last week's video as well when me and lou went for a spin to minute um yeah leave a comment down below i'll see you soon